What's up guys, Chosno right here. Today we're discussing about fixing the error 14 when you're trying to install the beta on iTunes. Now, this problem doesn't only appear when you're trying to restore the iOS 10 beta custom-made firmware, but also appears if you're trying to use a fresh IPSW for iOS 10, because Apple made the betas to require Xcode before they can be installed. So it's not a problem with your custom-made firmware, it's a problem with the fact that you're trying to restore a beta with only iTunes. Let me explain everything in today's video. At first, I want to clarify two things. The first one, if you create a custom-made firmware now and you don't have a Mac, it's very important not to use iOS 10. Why? Because you need a Mac to restore it. And as you can see, if you searched on Google, you could have known. I'm going to open Firefox. This is something that uh, goes up in, a, in a search. It says how to install iOS 10 beta on your iPhone or iPad. And if you scroll, the first one is provisioning and the second one installing iOS 10, sorry, th this one is installing iOS 10 beta using iTunes, download iOS software. So it says that I'm gonna go here, download Xcode 8 beta. To successfully install iOS 10 beta, you need to also download and install Xcode 8 beta from developer website. You should find download link on the same page as the iOS 10 beta. And the instructions are clear. You can install iOS 10 beta using Xcode or iTunes. It's a lot easier to install whatever. But the problem is that you need to have Xcode if you're trying to restore a beta. Let's see the comments. And I'm going to show you that you are not the only one who, are face, who is facing this at all. If we scroll to the comments, we have here 12 days ago, I was silly enough not to download Xcode bef beta and I was getting error 14 every time. When I downloaded Xcode, this fixed the issue first time. Another uh, person 30 days ago, mm, I kept getting iTunes error code 14 when I updating to iOS 10. Restoring to 9.3.2 works perfect. According to the developer website, yes, I pay $99. It says you must have Xcode Beta 8 installed. So yes, this is a problem, guys. Because you're trying to install a beta firmware, you need to have Xcode. Normal IPSWs that are released for public doesn't require that because it it is a public release, but this IPSW here is for developers only. This is why you don't get links in the description, because it's illegal to share developers content. For this content, you usually pay $99 for an account for one year. So this is why you don't find, um, you're not finding links in my description. It's illegal, but you can find it on Google. Now let me show you. Unfortunately, I don't have a custom-made farmer yet, for the iOS 10 and I don't have time to create one right now because I still have to do something at work but the problem is that here is the fresh IPSW I just downloaded and it has the same behavior if I try to restore it I will get error 14 in iTunes even if uh, it's not touched it's not modified I'm going to show you I'm going to open iTunes I'm not going to open Xcode beta. I don't have the uh, custom-made firmware because the problem is that I cleaned my computer today. As you can see, I get rid of everything from here and I didn't knew I was uh, able to create this tutorial today, so yeah. But I'm going to make a video on how to restore the custom-made firmware, which is kind of the same thing as in today's video. But if you really want, I'm going to make it when I have time. I go to downloads and I'm going to show you. Hmm. You see, I still... Let me uh, try that. As you can see, it, it's still stuck like I have three minutes left to download. Anyways, I'm going to um, to go here. Xcode 8, as you can see, has 5.9 gigabits. Yes, this is the problem. The second thing I want to, um, to tell you is that you cannot do this on Windows. As I said, I replied to some of your comments on uh, different videos of mine asking me why you get error 14, even if you don't uh, modify the IPSW, this is the problem, because you need Xcode 8, as you could have read from the um, the website i shown you. And uh, Xcode 8 can be found on Google, but has 5.9 gigabits, so it's your decision if you try 
to, um, to make a, a custom made firmware with the beta or if you wait for iOS 10 final release that can be installed without any Xcode on Windows or on Mac. So if you don't want to, to download Xcode or if you don't have a Mac or if your computer cannot run VirtualBox to install OS X, Mm, you're better off trying to create custom-made firmware for 9.2.2 because iOS 10 requires a Mac and Xcode in order to do that and of course it's buggy as hell. I don't recommend. The videos I made, I made just to show you that it's possible, not to tell you you must do with this method. iOS 9.3.2 remain, still remains the best for NAND attack because it doesn't require any Xcode. But if you want to, uh, to do it on iOS 10 and if you want to try and if you are willing to download I, uh, Xcode 10, sorry Xcode 8 which has uh, 6 gigabits, then yeah, the uh, file after download is this one. If you open it, it looks like this. I'm going to show you. It's exactly like normal Xcode but it's Xcode 8 which supports macOS Sierra and um, iOS 10, so you can create Swift applications. I'm going to close it for the moment because I don't want it opened as I'm going to show you the restore part. So I'm going to press here to attempt to restore the phone with iOS 10. Keep in mind, this iOS 10 file right here is not modified at all. It's a fresh uh, file from Apple server, from my developer account. I'm going to go here to desktop and I'm going to try to load it. I'm going to restore. Let's see if we get any error. I'm going to show you. Keep in mind my Xcode is not open. In order to succeed you have to have Xcode opened. It, mine is not open, I just want to show you that you get error 14 if you don't run Xcode while you're uh, trying to restore. This is a matter created by Apple, it's not my fault, it's not your fault. It is just how Apple decided to make their beta firmwares. Betas are for uh, developers, therefore they think that a developer has Xcode installed. It's kind of sketchy, but you got the idea. This is why everybody faces this error, because it's a beta IPSW and require Xcode. Okay, let's see. It's extracting, but I'm not going to uh, put pause. I just want to show you exactly what happens. Keep in mind, unmodified custom-made firmware. It's not modified at all. It's not touched. So it should work because it's not it's not touched, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to also check the hash. Uh, let's see if we have the hashes posted on the iPhone wiki so I can compare. I'm going to go to firmwares to beta, iPhone, iOS 10, iPhone 5. We don't have the, the hashes unfortunately and you cannot use those links to download because you're not a forest aid. Okay, I'm going to kill this page for the moment. Okay, it says waiting for the device. Let's see if we can get this thing restored. Verifying iPhone restore. The phone uh, was running iOS 9.3.2 bypassed uh, since now, so uh, it should be kind of like an update. Let's see what happens. Verifying iPhone restore. I think I'm going to put pause because this video gets a little bit longer than expected. Okay, so it's restoring. Let's see if we can uh, complete this restore. Keep in mind, iTunes, the latest version of iTunes, right here. Xcode is not open, not even the uh, standard Xcode, nor the uh, beta. Ok, 
Okay, so verifying iPhone restore. Oh, I got error 9 for some reason instead of error 14, but it's kind of the same. Okay, and the phone of course got stuck. I have to reboot it. Now I'm going to going to uh, try it with Xcode open. Okay, I'm going to open Xcode, I'm going to reboot the phone, which got stuck for some reason. Okay. Okay, so you have here version 8.0. I'm gonna go to items, cancel, I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna press Alt and try to select this far more and try again. Restore iOS 10, the same IPSW, unmodified, but this time with Xcode open. Let's see what happens. I'll be back when it finishes extracting. Preparing iPhone for restore. Keep in mind, Xcode is open. I'm going to give you an uh, excerpt of the uh, release note if you want. What's new in this Xcode? Hopefully it won't start in uh, Safari. For some reason my Safari is broken. The restore process started. We're near the uh, end of the first part of the restore, which is sending the file. Okay, it's verifying again the iPhone restore, the iPhone software. Okay. Okay, so it's restoring iPhone software now. Let's see. I think here we got the uh, the error nine, the previous attempt. As you can see, Xcode is still open, and it has to be open the whole restore. So yeah, you need to download that 5.9, which means 6 gigabit file, and you you must have a Mac. So yeah, as I said, if you don't want to download, and or you can't download Xcode, or you don't have a Mac and so on, try to use the tutorials for iOS 9.3.2, or wait for the iOS 10 to get a stable release. Unfortunately, as I said, for Windows there is no way to restore beta firmwares because beta firmwares require Xcode which only runs on OS X or Mac OS, how it's uh, known by now. Okay, so restoring iPhone firmware, still um, waiting for it to, to be restored. Verifying iPhone restore. It's done. I'm trying to close it. You can now close the um, the Xcode as well. Gotta be back. Okay, here we have the phone. You can see it in real time. I'm not going to record, but you can see it in real time. I'm using QuickTime in order to show you the phone in real time. So the restore is pretty much done. It's the latest. Phase. I don't know why it takes too much. Usually it takes only a second or two. This is strange. But let's see if the restore was successful. Shouldn't be. Oh, for the name of God, today. Okay, so here we go. 
English, United States. Choose. I'm going to use items and so on. And this is basically the iOS 10 running perfectly on the phone. I'm going to emergency call. 911 emergency. You can see from the background that it's the uh, iOS 10. iOS 10 has the um, greenish background. Okay, let me try to glitch it a little bit. Just glitch already. Okay, uh, heck. Okay, so my glitch worked. So this is kind of it. You can see press home to open and I pressed home and yeah, so it's basically iOS 10. Thanks for watching. I really hope you like this video and I really hope you will get to fix your device as well. This is the problem. You can't do it on Windows. So please don't ask about how you can do it on Windows. You can't do it on Windows. And yeah, till the next time. Peace out.